What up, y'all? It's your boy Lil Nico. I want to give a quick shout out to Wrestling Styles. Let's go! Bow! Wrestling Styles, let's go! WrestlessStyle.com, man. It's your main man, Ayo Mars, here. I'm here with my main man, Nico, man. What's going on, dude? I'm good, I'm good. You doing working? all right? Yes, sir. I see you working, man. We right here in the studio, man. We having a great time here, man. So this is Wrestling Style Magazine, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Nico, I just want to know, man. I mean, you, you a young dude, man. Right, yeah, You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, you I'm a young... 12, I just turned uh, 12 years old on the 23rd of November. Wow. Yeah. 12 years old, man, yeah. doing your thing, man. So you were a young dude, man. So when did you really realize you had what it take to make it in hip-hop? Um, well, really, I started off at a second-grade talent show. I did this one song with Chris Brown and uh, Bow Wow called Shorty Like Mine. Okay. And a um, long, long time ago, back in, like, 07, maybe. Mm -hmm. And so um, the, re the reaction from the crowd and being on stage and... Yeah. It was just a great feeling to me, and then from then, you know, since I killed the show, um, uh, I, that's, I, I really figured out that, yo, I really want, I really want to do this, you know. Man, that's 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 amazing, man. That's yeah. that's great, man. You're 12 years old, man. You know. Yeah. So, all right, you're a busy, man. At 12 years old, we're in the studio right now. We came in, and you were already at work. You know what yeah, I'm saying? So, yeah. That how do you how do you really balance, man, a childhood? You know what I'm saying? Enjoying your childhood as well as keeping yourself busy for entertainment. Um. Well, I mean, it's it's not like uh, I'm working like all the time. It, yeah. it is a, a lot of hard work and dedication put into the industry. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, I'm always able to be a kid. I'm not, um, you know, just forced to do all of this. Um, you know, uh, the other day I was uh, out here in the studio and then went to go play basketball with uh, my big homie kid at okay. LA Fitness. So you okay. know, in between times and also gotta take care of the school work in between times on working. You know, being on the stage in the studio. Everything, you know, I gotta balance it. Man, that's right, man. You're so bright, man. You know what I'm saying? Thank Twelve you. years old, man. Thank you. You're so bright. So you who? Yeah, I play all basketball. All right, man. I might need to see you on the court. You know what I'm saying? Something <laughs> I got like that. You. <laughs> but uh, who's your favorite team? Man? L.A. Lakers all day. Ah, I knew you was gonna say that, man. Yes, I knew you were gonna say because you're from uh, San Diego, right? Yeah, San Diego. Ah, uh, you're from San Diego. All right, so you're from San Diego. How do you how do you really put on for your city? And when you go back, are you the man at home? Um, yeah, not to you know. Be too cocky or anything, but yeah, yeah I'm, I'm I'm well known in San Diego, um, a lot actually. Anywhere yeah. I go, yeah. I went to Walmart the other day and um, somebody wanted to take a picture with me, and so oh well, not the other day because I've been out here in Atlanta working a lot for the yeah. album, but um, yeah. um, I just I, I always shout out San Diego, you know California and my songs. I just did a, a new song called West Coast Rider that y'all should be on the lookout for real soon. I can't talk too much about it. <laughs> but, True, um, I understand. Yeah, I always shout out San Diego, and I'm going to rep San Diego for the rest of my life. That's right, man. You do it, man. I rep Memphis wherever I go. Don't you got a little homie yeah. from Memphis that you did a track yeah, with? Yeah, shout out to the homie Lil Peanut, you know what I'm saying, holding it down for Memphis. Well, uh, all right, you're, you're, your most popular track, well, at least to me. I love it, man. Okay, uh -huh. then. It's on my head. You know what I'm saying? I'm in, I'm in the car or wherever I'm at. Okay, then. So what was it like, man, saying okay, then? Um, on on the big screen when you was when you was at the crib and you was looking at MTV, it was like, oh man, it's my video on TV. How did you feel? Man, it was it was, it's it's a it's a really great feeling to being able to actually, uh, you know, achieve your dreams. Uh, yeah. Growing up as a kid, I've always heard people really um, say that term, and I've always just had it in my head. Yeah. Live your dream, speak your dream into existence, mm. and um, like be, being able to really like really verbally. Um, and physically live your dream is always a great feeling achieving something and being on MTV Jams, you know, 106 in Park, everything is um, is huge, you yeah, know. Yeah. It, it just gives you another, uh, another. It, it it reminds you why you're doing this, you know. Yeah, it's, man. Uh, it's awesome, man. Yo, man, you, you, you're you giving some great knowledge, man, for you Thank to be 12 you. years old. I'm, I'm going to tell you, man, I'm definitely a fan. Not only a fan, man, I'm definitely looking up, man. So for you to just really be pursuing your dream and getting it done. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. man, all right, you signed the Boo Vision of Dev Jam, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so what is it like, man? We know it's your favorite. That was your favorite, you know, label before you were signed. So yeah. what is it like, man, to really be able to be a part of Def Jam and enjoy that, being that that was your favorite label? 
Man, it's it's huge. You know, I'm extremely blessed being with a legendary label. Yeah. Um, a lot of pioneers of hip hop come from Def Jam. Mm -hmm. um, shouts to L.A. Re for signing me. Shouts to Boo, the whole Boo Vision fam. Right. Um, man, it's it's extremely another blessing. You know, yeah. uh, being signed with Def Jam. The funny thing is that I kind of like the night before I flew to New York. Mm -hmm. I um I kind of like dreamed half of what was gonna happen the next day. It was kind of uh -huh. like strange and weird. But um, you know, during the showcase, I met DJ Khaled, and you know, mm -hmm. another good plug worked out with him, with him in the uh, in Miami and the Runners, just the Khaled and Runners Monarch family, and um, man, it's, it was really huge when I signed the papers, man. Oh man, I, I bet it was, man. DJ Khaled, all of yeah. them guys, man. So man, you definitely in there. You stumbled with the big dogs, man. You know what yes, I'm saying? Sir. You stumbled with the big dogs. Seeing that you stumbled with the big dogs, man, it's always, you know, what I'm saying that point of time to where you get on camera is your time to spit. Right. You know what I'm saying? So let me let me get a little bit, Nico. You know what I'm saying for the camera. You know what I'm saying for wrestling styles. Let's go ahead and yeah, spit sure. some for us. All right. I got you. Okay, I'm careful with my words, like I'm talking to Grammy. And me to the game is like LeBron in Miami. See, I'm a team player. I do it all for the family. I tell you life sweet, and I ain't sponsoring candy. I can't wait till I'm platinum or walking off with a Grammy. The children they look up to me like an orphan to Annie, 'cause I'm the man. Got a lot of knowledge from my mom and them, so I gotta get it and take us all to the promised land. Hey, <laughs> man, you gotta give me some for that, man. You put it yeah. down, man. You know, so I do a little poetry in there, but I ain't no rapper, okay. man. But you, okay. you shut it down, man. You Thank know what I'm saying? You. Goodness, man. You know. I'm definitely putting you up there, man. You know what I'm saying? When I think about all those hot artists, you know what I'm saying, that's yeah. really getting out there and putting their lyrics strong, you're really, you really out there, man. You Thank know? you. You're really on that list. That. So, being that way, man, so who is your favorite artist right now? Uh, Jay-Z. Jay-Z, all right. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah, I'm really feeling Jay-Z, the, uh, the Throne, you know. Uh, Boo A and Nard, the Watch the Throne album. Yeah. Um, man, they're on top of the game right now. Yeah, they're yeah. definitely on top of the game. Jay-Z, I mean, he's a pioneer. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, He's yeah. definitely a pioneer. Yeah. All right, so aside from God, you know what I'm saying, you said that Jay-Z uh, was somebody you look up to, um, and aside from God, because we know, we know what that said, where are you, who do you appreciate the most as far as your success is how, where it is now? And you said besides God? Yeah. Um, well, my mother, you know, uh, for having me and supporting my music, mm -hmm. supporting me and my music, whatever I done was it, whether it was collecting trash, yeah. um, being a... You know, a congressman, anything, she's always yeah. going to support me, and I know that she's there for me. All right, man. So we, as we know, man, when we're growing up, there's a lot of things coming our way. And how important do you think it is to just really embrace who you are as an individual? Um, well, you always have to have confidence, always have to have faith, yeah. uh, faith in yourself, you know what I'm saying? Just have that mentality that, you know, Whatever I want to do, I just got to put my head to it and I can achieve it. That's right. That's right, man. So Wrestle Style Magazine is doing something called the ER Campaign. Okay. And basically what the ER Campaign is, man, is really, like I said, embracing who you are as an individual, as a youth. Because with a state of emergency, you know, with kids, you know, they're running after every trend left and right, man. So mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you yourself, you know, stay comfortable with, within who you are and don't just run out and do everything? You know, my right. mother, she keeps me grounded. Yeah. Um, I definitely know right from wrong. Yeah. And so uh, I just, I, I got to keep myself balanced. That's right. All right, man, so we out of here, man. Hey, yo, Mars, right here with my man, yes, Lil sir. Nico. Great interview, man. Exclusive. Anything you need to find with Restless Style Magazine, you got it. If you want to go check out more, go to our website, man, restlessstyle.com, and we are out of here. Let's go. Restless Style, let's go.